Hello everyone, welcome to the February Happy Mail Haul. I probably need to zoom out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, lots of Happy Mail to get through. Apologies if you guys can hear a bunch of random noise in the background. There is a ton of construction going on right now, like a bunch of houses being built in the area to the point where my house has literally been shaking the last few days with all the like heavy equipment. But I wanted to get this filmed and the littles are napping. So it's like, let's get her done. So <laughs> first off is this adorable little coffee themed card. This is from Loretta. So, so cute. And I like how the room was added and then she tucked the little gift into um, the card. And I love how you stamped on the inside as well. I think that's just a cute touch. So she included this fun little, um, WSD, the Whippersnapper Design Stamp. This coffee's making me awesome. So that's really cute. <laughs> and then this one is the same stamp. And this is by, again, Whippersnapper Designs. And it's called Colby's Caffeine. So yeah, the stamp she used to make this card. So thank you. This is really cute. You guys know me and my coffee and my coffee themed cards. Always so fun. So that was that one. And then... Let's just put that there. I've got this adorable little card from Heather. And isn't that cute? She loves me, she loves me not. And my little house mouse images. I like how you did um, added the little scrolls to, around it. I think that's just a really cute little idea. And then there's a cute little letter. And then yeah, how you finished the inside. So yeah, she loves me, she loves me not, she loves me. I think that's so cute. So cute. There's that. Oh, and the envelope for that too. Stamped and colored. I love when you guys do the envelopes. I just, it adds that little extra something. And then this one from Rosalie. I was gonna say Rosalie, but I think it's Rosalie. So, very adorable. I know this set immediately. It's the Mama Elephant type little ninjas set that I have and love. So cute. I really like how you did this. See, I need to pull this set out again. And I love how you added little flowers for them to use. So really adorable. So that was that one. And then we've got, I'm like dropping stuff here. This from Kanako, Kanako, Kanako. Is that how you pronounce it? As always, I butcher names. I never know. This one from Hawaii. So of course, aloha. I love the pink pineapple. I was just like, seriously, I would never think outside the box, just as something as simple as that. Like I color, I'd see a pineapple, I would color it the color it's supposed to be. But I like that, I think it's really cute. So yeah, really cute little card and yeah. So, aloha's hello, aloha's goodbye, aloha's love. I just think that's fabulous. And I included the envelope too, I love, I love that it was pink envelope and the way you did it, it's so well done and the gold splatter. Again, it just, you know, when you're going to get the mail and you put a little extra effort into the envelopes, you just, you notice it. And it's just like, ooh, there's a little pink envelope in there. Like, hmm, hmm, you know? So I just think that's so cool. There's that. And then this little gift showed up. This is from Sandy, again, on a coffee theme. It's this little Quick Cuts dye. It's called Hot Drink. I've never used Quick Cuts dyes, but I assume they would work just the exact same way all the wafer dyes I use regularly because it's really thin. And then it's got the foam, which I already know wouldn't be meant to pop the cardstock out so it doesn't get stuck in the dye. So yeah, I've never, like I said, I've never used their dyes, but thank you. It's just a cute little, little tiny to-go cup. So that was from Sandy, so thank you for that. And again, coffee. Got a theme going, you guys. This one's from Kevin, and I love it. So yeah, we, I only need coffee on days that end with Y. Very true, so very true. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but there's like, I assume Wink Estella, but there's sparkle added to the coffee cup, which I just love. I love the coloring, a lot of depth there. Really nice card, so yeah. And then the inside's all stamped with coffee beans and fabulous, love it. That one, and then I've got this one from Sabine, which is gorgeous, like so gorgeous. I don't even know what image this is, but it's really, really pretty. So yeah, all heat embossed and then watercolored and shimmer and yeah, like 
so pretty. So yeah, spread happiness wherever you go. Hello spring. Yes, please bring on spring. It's cold and windy and snowy. <laughs> There's that one. And there's this one from Ija, Ija, I would say Ija, that's how I would think it would be pronounced. This came from Finland. So this adorable Easter card, so cute, so cute. I love that image, I think it's adorable. So all the way from Finland. And then, I honestly don't even know what's in here. I just wanted to keep, because I love the packaging. It was like getting a Christmas present in the mail. This came from Evelyn in Estonia. So wrapped all fancy. I love like the holographic wrapping paper. So like I said, I have no idea what's in here. And I love also the postage stamps from around the world. I used to collect them way back in the day when I was much, much younger than I am now. So yeah, I'll set that aside. Even the box is decorated. I've got pen on my hand, I just realized. Anyway, um, so much good stuff. Stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and read this little letter. Okay, Evelyn, thank you for your letter. It was extremely thoughtful and as is all of this. So yeah, she made, oh, this fell. Something in here is for March too, I think this one. Oh, there, okay, it's marked. Never mind, it's marked, fabulous. So she made this fabulous card for my oldest daughter for her birthday, which is really cool. She'd recycle this. There's actually bracelets in here, which is really neat. I think that's really cool and just creative. So creative. So yeah, I'll be giving this to her when she um, gets home and oh, huh, that's how it opens. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, it's sealed though. Okay, so I won't do that. I will let her open that. I was wondering how you got into there. So really neat. That's very clever, like, very clever. I never go this all out on my cards. So yes, I will save that for her and she will think that's very cool. I know she's gonna love it, so thank you. So there's that. And then there's this fabulous little card. Love that. She's the one, I actually have it sitting here because I've meant to show, she sent me the instructions. This is the same person who made these awesome, which of course mine's like, this one's getting mangled because my kids keeps taking it. Um, the penguin boxes that I showed was at the last Happy Meal haul video. Um, she sent me the instructions. I'm gonna do a video on showing you guys how to make these. They're actually quite easy to make. And yeah, I've had it sitting here with the intention to get to it. Just life's been crazy. But she said in her letter, like she had a bunch of extra die cuts. So she's using them, you know, to decorate, to decorate the box. She made this card by embossing it. I, I love that. I love that. I think that's just, it's creative. So there's that. And then I will save the March one. Oh dear, more chocolate. Oh. <laughs> so here is, we'll just save that for later. Here is the card for February. Ooh, Easter theme. I think that's so pretty. I love the gold embossing. Does it show up? Yes. So yeah, really, really pretty. These are for the kids. These are cute. <laughs> Oh, these are adorable. I was making sock puppets with the kids not too long ago, so we might just have to break out some more socks and make some more sock puppets because the kids would just get a kick out of these. How fun are those? <laughs> those are so cute. There's those, and then yeah, chocolate from Estonia. Coffee cream milk. Oh, uh, I'm trying to lose weight. I am trying, but things like this aren't gonna help. Oh my goodness, yum, yum. So thank you, Evelyn, so much. And ooh, glitter, glitter washi tape. That's fabulous, fabulous. So fabulous, fabulous. Actually, I'm gonna set this out because I always take a picture of everything at the end. So we're just gonna set this all aside. So Evelyn, thank you so very much. Set that all there. Okay, okay, I don't want everything to fall over. Then we've got cards from Hope, the cross stitch cards. Get a lot of reaction about the so many people interested in that. Um, a lot of people asking again, because they asked me because Hope does not have a blog, YouTube channel, anything like that. She does obviously see these videos. She does see your guys' comments as do everyone, you know, that sends things in. So you guys, you know, if you have questions about other people's cards, projects, etc., you know, you want to leave them some love, which I highly recommend. 
um, leave them in the comment section, you know, on my blog post, on this YouTube video so that they can read them because it's just, that's, it's always nice to hear, you know, the good things that other people have to say. So, yeah, um, that's that anyway with all of it. And yeah, this adorable, adorable owl theme card and, you know, a cute owl themed envelope and then all of this cross stitching. It's so adorable. I love anything owl. I can just see Caitlin if she was awake, she'd be seeing this and she's like, that's so adorable. <laughs> that's how she says it lately, adorable. <laughs> They're really, really cute. And apparently she did the glow in the dark floss right in the eyes. So these would kind of glow, which would be adorable. Adorable, adorable. I'm gonna start mispronouncing it too, just like her. And then the second card, envelopes all themed. It's so pretty, so pretty. So thank you so much. And then last but certainly not least, this just showed up in the mail and I had a cute box because it was hilarious. It was all wrapped in when I picked it up from the post office and then I was like uh and it's like this and I just got a kick out of it it's not fish <laughs> like you never know some days what shows up in the mail but anyway oh my goodness guys me and my sweet tooth I'm gonna have to hide these from my kids yum I like little suckers and the funny thing is I actually I have except we were, I was going on about this in a ha not a happy meal, a unboxing video because Simon Says includes these little um, charms, mini suckers in with their kits. You guys that watch my videos realize that I kind of really, really, really enjoy that. Anyway, so yeah, here's a whole bag of smaller suckers that will mostly be for me, but I might save some for sharing because that's a ton. So thank you. And my printer is like going off behind me, of course. Timing is perfect. So, yeah. And it's technically not part of the mail call. This is just a treat, but I share it anyway because I just think it is so nice. But this is also from Sabine and I just thought, so thank you. You really brighten my day with a big old bag of sugar. <laughs> and yeah, such an adorable card. So thank you. And thank all of you guys for just, like I always say, taking the time out of your days, the expense to mail all the stuff to me in Canada, um, the thoughtfulness of all of it. It's so nice. I love sharing what you guys make. I love getting, you know, I. Um, have this post office box that I literally have just for happy mail hauls. You know, I pay all this money to keep it going so that I can get all these things from you guys and then share it with the rest of you because you guys are awesome. Like, you create all of these wonderful cards and yeah. And there goes some more heavy equipment. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much. You all are just so awesome and thoughtful and yeah, I, I love this little community of paper crafters because you guys rock, you really do. So um, yeah, like I said, leave comments below the video, um, you know, telling everybody how fabulous their cards are and all that kind of stuff. It's so nice for them to be able to see that sort of thing. And yeah, I always post in the description box below the video, as well as on the Happy Mail Hall blog post, I have all of the, um, yeah, the info, my mailing address, the themes, which are very loose because by the time things get to me in Canada, half the time, it just doesn't matter. But we'll, we'll just keep figuring it out as we go along. And yeah, so all that info is below. Thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, for commenting, sending cards, all of it. Just even just the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.